Hello and welcome back to the world of Mafia 3. My name is James, this is Jess Play, and we're meeting Vito so we can kill Greco. Is that Vito? That's not Vito. Oh fuck it is Vito. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Right, once again. Once again, it started playing a fucking. Oh shit. Shit. Started playing a fucking. Uh, song. Which really fucking annoyed me. And then carried on playing it. As the mission started. I have music turned off. So, uh, I, I've just cut that last bit there. Um, but basically... Oh, Christ! Greco... Greco was, uh, fucking his whore. Marcano's men turned up to try and kill Greco. But Vito really wants to kill Greco. So, we're fighting Marcano's men. And getting rid of them so we can kill Greco. Uh, the fuck is he? There he is. I'm driving. Yeah, how did he get my car? I don't know if we were actually supposed to run him off the road or shit. Shit stains or what? Watch out! Oh fucking hell! Sorry, darling. <laughs> she got shot in the gut. Yeah, if we're supposed to run him off the road or just uh, follow him until he gets to wherever he's going. Jesus Christ! I think Marcano's men are mostly gone. Oh my god, that's... He's getting out of there. Oh no, I'm not allowed to kill him. Oh. I'm not sure... Where the fuck's Greco gone? Oh, there's Greco. I shot him. Uh, right, you're dead. So, what do we do with him? Press E. Oh, to get rid of the music, I turned down the fucking cinematic volume. So now, there's no volume for this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Cops are closing in. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, get me to... Can I turn the volume back up? That's the question. No. Audio settings. Right. Or are you going to start playing a fucking song again? No song. Right, let's go. Lose the police. Shit. 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 No. <laughs> because there's about 50 police cars behind us. What happened to you fucking shooting, Vito? I mean, this would go down a lot better if you fucking shot the bastards. Well, it wouldn't go down better, but I mean, might get rid of them quicker. Yeah, I noticed. I fucking noticed. Thanks. Settle down back there, kiddo. Oh, they are. They are behind us quite far now. Let's go this way. Um. Oh, if we go this way, this way. 
Shit! Now they're gonna catch up again. No, they're not gonna catch up again because they're going the wrong way. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity, Christ. There we go. Right. Away from the police. Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Yeah, I'm watching that cops. Oh, there's a cop right there. We. Shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie. Is that cop gonna you for more than instantly recognize me? <laughs> Look at you, kid. God knows. You know, God's got a sense of humor too. Shit. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. And back to the pier place. They said no how to drink. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. Well, the music it. stopped. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So, Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. Right, what we learned from that cutscene is... We make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. He's trying to make a joking, casino. Right? <laughs> All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you. Grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. You will. You will, eventually. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sounds boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. Hey, he wants to go straight. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. <laughs> oh dear. So, current sign to veto. Right. Part of that had the fucking copyright music playing. Um. Talk to Alma. And basically, it was just Vito torturing Greco or whatever his name was. Finding out about the casino that 
Sal wants to go straight. Turns out Vito's also got a Cuban friend who well, hopefully uh, we can do some jobs for and we'll up Vito's take. It's basically the long and short of it. You saw the bits afterwards because they didn't have music on. Oh, come on. Screechy. Wow. Come on. That hurt me a little bit. And again, it did hurt in the previous games as well when you crashed. You could die from crashing a car. It's quite realistic. I don't give a shit, you've told me this. Uh, let's go up there. Let's talk to this Cuban lady. Let's see what boring ass mission she wants me to do. Hello. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. <laughs> I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much are we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're going to be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'm gonna just say it. What's gonna happen next? All right. You need him, and you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. So what's the point in saying anything? There are very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. So you can... It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I had this in the other place. I killed, like, random groups of enemies still. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. Um, but... It didn't do shit. Let's put it politely. It didn't do shit. Fucking screaming at me for you, prick. Um, right, so where is your kickback 780? You've got a kickback there. What's this? Talk to Father James. Well, obviously, you try to talk some sense into him. And of course, we've still got Point Verdun. Um, but where the fuck am I supposed to get these shipments from? 32. And how do I increase the urn on these? Are they just random trucks that I find around the place? What? Or have I got to leave here to actually... Oh fucking hell! My car's in the way. <laughs> Might as well just get in my car. Right, I've left the warehouse. Is it just a random truck or something? I've got. To, what have I got to do? I don't get it. Yeah, I know, but what have I got to do? Like, I mean, there's a big icon here saying "get the weed." Ah, oh, ah, I saw an icon there. Disappeared. There we go. Right, let's do one of these. It's. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like the weed one. We get a truck and then we have to drive it 5,000 miles back. Just for the fucking sake of it. But we'll see.
If you can't tell, this game slightly grating on me now with the boring missions. Right. Um, how far we got left? Oh, bloody hell. Way! Jesus Christ. Come on. Stay on the road. Um. Oh, there's a restaurant here, apparently. Steal the semi truck. Well, the semi truck. Depending on your pronunciation. Um. Fucking. Jesus. How far away is this damn truck? Um, right here and... Come on, come on, bang bang bang, crash. I'm guessing the bayou isn't a place you could take over, I'm guessing it's one where we're gonna be smuggling shit through, like the weed and the the weed and these trucks. This is just gonna be like the fucking central for secondary missions, isn't it? Oh. Okay, you're a bad man. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you're dead, mate. Um, shit, okay. Just drove right fucking into him. There's a whole bunch- OH SHIT! I'm on fire! I can't even see these fuckers. Come on, I'm behind a rock! Fuck off! There we go, burn yourself. Alright, there's some over there. Shit! Shit, I can take more damage, but fucking hell am I actually doing it. Um... Oh, there's a guy down there. He's right behind me. Over here. Oh, shit! Fuck! Jesus Christ! Shot you. Oh, it's a fella trying to sneak around. Switching out ammo. Light him up. Yeah, burn, boy. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Come on. Stop shooting the fucking truck, I want the truck. Yeah, you sure as fuck do. What the fuck? The lighting was a bit fucked there. Um, I think that's all of them. Ah, there's a thingy up here. Let's take the thingy while I'm here. And I'm oh. guessing all I've got to do is get in the truck and drive it back. Yeah. Uh, oh, Christ. I can drive it to either one. Wow. Choices. Oh. And now I've parked my car in the fucking way again. Get out of the way. I bet this truck drives slow as fuck, doesn't it, as well? Turn, 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 turn! Sorry! 
I'm sure you're fine <laughs> when you roll back over. Oh god, we're nearly there. Oh, Carno's out for your blood. Great. Well, can he let me finish this fucking mission first? Fucking twats. Um, let's park you in here. Delivery complete. Well done. Kill the hitman. The hitman is the leader of the retaliation squad. Until you take him out, the retaliation squad will keep coming after you. Shit. Well, I've got a... Where's my sniper? Uh, okay. Hitman killed. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? What the fuck happened here? Thanks, guys. You uh, really saved me on that one. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you did with that, but... Well done. Uh... Right, I'm going to leave it here for today. Um, oh, actually, let's return to our, our Alma. Creepy child. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck happened there? I'm guessing some people spawned, and they spawned inside the wall or something. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Right, let's just talk to Alma. Coño, no esta what? Great. Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. Writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, who she saw get dragged away back in 10 October. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Huh. I drove it to your fucking warehouse. Fucking pussies. If you were picking it up, I'd be happy. On my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. Turns out they just got some new shipments. I want oh right, okay. And if you see any that was actually leading to something, was it? Okay, whatever. A warehouse that just got new shipments. A warehouse that's in the middle of the bayou, apparently. What a load of fucking bullshit. Right. I'll do that off camera, because it's just boring as fuck. Um, yeah. So, next time, I'll do that one off camera, so... Vito's... Stop doing that, you fucker. Where are we? Come on. The feet is cut will go up. Eighty two. Eighty two? Sixty. Yeah, it should go up another twenty grand, I think. I might get another adrenaline shot. Um Yeah, I'll do off camera I'll do that. I'll I know what I'll do. I'll do that and I'll unlock all these around Point for Done. Then next episode we'll go see Father James and we'll also go see... I'm guessing that's just like a story thing. That's just like a story thing. So we'll see what that is and then we'll go see Mr. Burke. Christa Burke up there. Oh, what the fuck that is there still shit falling off this thing? What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? Right, ta-ra!